Hey boys and girls, it's story time with Pastor Tina. Hello boys and girls and welcome to story time. I am Pastor Tia Maldonado. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to read a wonderful book. And even though at story time, we have an audience of boys and girls, today's book will focus on boys. Girls, don't make that face and say, ah, boys. Boys are important. Guess what the Bible tells us? In Genesis, the Bible tells us that we, as in we all, are made in the image and likeness of the Lord. You know what that means? That even though boys are a bit different than girls, they're still God's creation. And we were made imitating God. So we look like God on the earth. Doesn't mean that everybody looks the same, everybody acts the same, but everyone has attributes in them or qualities or characteristics in them that reflect our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So young ladies, little girls, guess what? God made boys too. And on another time in story time, we will read a book about girls. So your time is coming don't worry, but today we're gonna to read a book about boys. And I love boys, I have three boys. Three boys, two little ones and one big one. So I like boys, I love them. I am a mom of three boys. So girls, just give me a moment on this read. Please read along with me, enjoy the story. And maybe, maybe you will grow in appreciation of the boys that are in your life. I'm sure you love your big brother or, or your little brother or even your father. Remember, your father used to be a little boy at one point too. So your time is coming, little girls. So today, the name of the book that we're reading is entitled, A Boy Like You. A Boy Like You. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful book. Please listen. There are billions and billions and billions billions of people in the world, but you are the only you that there is. And the world needs a boy like you. The world needs a boy to be kind and helpful, to be smart and strong. Maybe your strong is making sure everyone has a chance to play. Maybe your smart is knowing the precisely right perfect pass to make. Oh boy, be you, the boy that makes you feel most alive. Play hard, but play fair. Be a great teammate. Say nice goal and good try. Don't say you throw like a girl, ever. Now, just so you know, some girls have a mean throw. Just so you know, in case you didn't know, now you know. And remember, there's so much more than sports. There are vegetable gardens to grow and flowers to give. There are cakes to bake and eat too. There are instruments to play and songs to sing. There are stories to read and stories to write. There are science experiments to do and math problems to solve. Oh boy. Be curious, take a risk, raise your hand. Smart kids ask questions. So ask a lot of them. And the more you know, the less you'll fear. Here's a secret that not many people know. Fear and bravery are partners. You can't be brave without first being afraid. If you're not ready to be brave, ask for help. This shows you're smart. Sometimes you may feel like crying, cry. This shows you're strong. One day you'll be a man and men cry too. This is true. Sometimes when my son comes home and he's had a really bad day and I could see the look on his face that he just wants to cry, I tell him, go take a hot shower, take a minute, cry, let it all out. I promise you'll feel better. And when he does, he comes back to me and he hugs me and he tells me, mom, 
you don't understand how good I feel now. Sometimes you just got to let it out. And just because you cry, it doesn't mean that you're less of a man or less of a boy. You know what that means? It means that you're human. Boys cry too. Oh boy, dream big. You are unique and your dreams are yours to dream. It's okay not to know exactly what you want to be or what you will become, but whatever you become, become a good one. And remember this about dreams. You don't get what you wish for. You get what you work hard for. So work hard for what you want. Don't be afraid of a little hard work. It pays off in the end. In the world, you will meet all kinds of people and all of them are different. Ask people to tell you their stories. Then listen, listen hard. Stories connect all of us. They're part of what makes us who we are. Don't forget to tell your own story too. Everybody has a story. Boys and girls, each of you have your own story and I would love to hear it from you. As you travel and come and go, hug your family and high five your friends. High five your family and hug your friends. Walk with your head up. You'll want to see where you're going. Smile at people and say hello. Your smile can change someone's day. Leave every place you visit better than you found it and leave every person better than you found them. You see how he's serving someone hot coffee? That might be a blessing to them. Say please, say thank you, say I love you. And if that's not exactly right, simply say, I like you. And maybe most importantly, say, how may I help? Helping each other is the best way to make our world stronger. Oh boy, be thoughtful. Eat lunch with, new kid, with the new kid. Hold the door for a person behind you. Do the right thing even when no one is looking. You see this gentleman dropped his wallet and the little boy found it. He's stopping them and he's saying, wait a minute, I think that's your wallet. That gentleman, I'm sure he's quite grateful for that. And most of all, be you. You'll discover that the best you is the you that is all you. Not a little you and a little someone else. You are original and that's a wonderful thing. And always remember the world needs a boy, a smart boy, a brave boy, a kind boy. Oh boy, a boy like you. Wow, this world needs a boy just like you. You don't have to change for anyone else. How God made and designed you is the way he wanted you to be. So if you're really good at music and you're not so good at sports, it's okay. Be really good at music. If you're really good at drawing and not so good at cooking and you tend to burn the cookies, stick to the crayons and the markers. It's totally okay. Be who God designed for you to be and do it super well because the world needs a boy just like you. The Bible tells us that when God made us, he made us fearfully with a lot of respect and wonderfully. He's given us gifts, talents, and interests in certain things. He's made us with a purpose and that purpose is designed for our abilities to do it. So when he designed us, he had a plan for us. And whatever that plan is, it is a good, good plan, boys and girls. You were designed on purpose and we need boys and girls just like you. I need boys and girls just like you. Thank you so much for being a part of my Storytime family. This was a really, really good book. I would love to hear from you. Would you consider 
writing me. In the story, it tells us to share our stories. I would love to hear from you. Let me know something about your life. Tell me if you have a cat or a dog or just show me something about you. I would love to hear your stories. And of course, here on Storytime, we always get together and pray. So please send me your prayer request to Storytime at CICOrlando.org. C-I-C, Storytime at CICOrlando.org. I would love to hear from you. Please write to me. We have a prayer request from some Storytime family members. And listen, boys and girls, in case you didn't know it, we have boys and girls that are actually adults who watch Storytime. And we've received a prayer request from one of the grown-up Storytime family members. And one of the prayer requests, the prayer request that we received was for prayer for Pastor Mary. Pastor Mary in Lakeland, Florida. Boys and girls, we need to pray for her. Her husband, Pastor Lou, wrote to us and let us know that Pastor Mary is not feeling well. She tested positive for coronavirus. So they're asking for us to pray for her. Will you please join in with me and let's pray for Pastor Mary? That would be awesome. And of course, we're going to pray for other boys and girls. Uh, We're just going to pronounce a blessing over them. Would you join me now and let's pray together? Father God, I thank you for this time and story time. I thank you, Lord, that we're learning so much about how you designed us and how unique we are. And Lord, you made us on purpose. And just like this story tells us that there's so many different things that you've created us to do. And how you created us is how you wanted us to be. That we don't need to be a little bit of one person and a little bit of another person and a little bit of ourselves. You want us to be 100% ourselves and you want us to live each day being kind to other people being thoughtful for other people being mindful of other people looking for other ways to serve maybe some senior citizens or even someone who's even our own age lord you designed us and you want us to be on the earth and the world needs a little boy and a little girl just like the ones watching here today. So Lord, I thank you for the boys and girls of story time. Father, show them each day an opportunity where they can be a light to everyone that's around them. Father God, we lift up right now Pastor Mary in Lakeland, Florida, who's dealing with coronavirus, Father God. I thank you, Lord, that she knows you to be a God who is a God of healing. And I thank you, Father God, that there's nothing too difficult for you. There's nothing too tough. And coronavirus is not too tough for you, Father God. And that you can send healing to Pastor Mary today in Jesus' name. And you will comfort her husband, Pastor Lou, and they will will have a testimony about how good you are and how wonderful you are and that you are a God of healing. Touch her body right now. Bring her fever down, Father God. Help her with the aches and the pains and set her free from this coronavirus in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we agree on that, Father God. And Lord, we speak a blessing over the boys and girls who are watching. I thank you, God, for Yusuf and Terrell. I thank you for Simon. I thank you for Cecil, Father God. I thank you for Jacqueline. And I thank you, Lord God, for Alexander and Javon, Father God. Please cover them and protect them. Bless them in Jesus name. Thank you for Elizabeth, Father God, and thank you for Sandra. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for the boys and girls who watch every day on Storytime. Bless them, bless their families. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for watching today. I am Pastor Tia Maldonado, and I look forward to seeing you again on Storytime. God bless you and good night. Thanks for watching.